Let's imagine a disk shown at right, and it has two vectors uh, drawn out for us. The omega vector, which is pointing up, and the angular acceleration vector, which is pointing down. We could ask which of the four uh, descriptions here is correctly describing a situation. Is this a disk which, when viewed from above, is rotating clockwise but speeding up, rotating clockwise but slowing down, rotating counterclockwise but speeding up, or rotating counterclockwise but slowing down? To imagine the answer for this, we have to first remember what it is that our angular velocity does. When it points upward, we know by the right-hand rule that it's related to the linear velocity of any point on the rim of the disk. So we have to remember how our right-hand rule works. If our thumb represents omega, then the curling of our right hand, the fingers on our right hand represent the direction of the tangential velocity at any point around the rim. So when we look from above, this represents a disk that is going counterclockwise. Furthermore, since the angular acceleration is pointing down in the opposite direction of omega, then we know that this thing is a slowing down object. If it was pointing, if alpha was pointing with omega, we know it would be speeding up. The correct answer then is D. This is a disk that's rotating counterclockwise and is slowing down.